Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Today I am bringing my empties for the month of November. So we have got wax, we have got laundry, and we've got a little bit of cleaning stuff and bath and body as well. Most of it's Scentsy, a few things not. Um, but yeah, I've decided to combine it all into one video because I don't have enough non-Scentsy stuff for it to be a separate video. So I'll just kind of include it all. Um, so the first things we'll do laundry and that is we'll do non-wax first and then jump into the uh, wax pieces but we did a laundry liquid in pink cotton i had finished up the rest or i'd finished up the scent soft in this last month um, and there was just a tiny bit left so that is used up now and we are on to different laundry products um still scentsy i think we've got what are we using right now i've got a honeymoon hideaway from the summer clearance sale um, that we're using right now in laundry liquid then we've got a counter clean and this is the cider mill one which was one of the ones from the harvest collection we really enjoyed this one i would get this again if it came back next year it was like a <coughs> cider mill is like a nice apple pumpkin type scent with just a little bit of spice but not overly spicy so we enjoyed that one i love the counter clean it works really really well it also as you use it more often it puts like i don't want to say a film because a film sounds not great but like a a layer that like makes it so that when you wipe things or when like food dries onto it like if you didn't wipe the counter off right away and then like something dried um it just kind of comes right off rather than like making you scrub for a hundred years so i love the counter clean we finished this one up early in the month and i've been using the um perfect peppermint one since so there's that then in the car i actually finished some pods too i forgot to grab them out of the car but they were a two pack of pumpkin roll. So we had pumpkin roll going in the car this month. It was really good. Um, we use a mini fan diffuser in there. I also did this sugar cookie scent circle and it's pretty much dead at this point. Um, it didn't last all that long. I would say no more than like five days. These are like a nice little way to try a scent if you haven't tried it before. Um, and they're just kind of a nice little thing to stick in your car, but don't expect long lasting out of these because they usually are not. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Um, if this still had scent, what I might do it would be to stick it in my little drawer where I keep all of my face masks and stuff so that my masks smell nice when I put them on. Um, but this one is dead, so that's this will be going in the garbage. Then in the bath, we finished up a Bath and Body Works moisturizing body wash in Honey Wildflower. And this kind of had the consistency of lotion which was kind of weird because it didn't lather, but it did clean. So that was nice. Um, I found it not, I didn't, I don't think it was moisturizing. Like it didn't leave moisture on my skin, which is good. Um, cause from, from a cleaning product, I wouldn't want that, but it didn't dry my skin or strip my skin either. So I liked that about it. The scent was nice. I liked honey wildflower. I might repurchase that scent. It was, it's like a sweet, it's very sweet and it's like lightly floral. Like if you're not normally a floral fan, you might still be okay with this. The notes are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers and sweet honey. Um, and now that they've said, I wouldn't have noticed pear in here without them saying it, but I think that is letting kind of a bright sweetness to it because it does have a bright sweetness to it. Um, yeah, and I don't know what kind of flowers these are. Um, if you're a flower person, if you can identify those, that might be the kind of flower that's in here. But um, I, I couldn't tell you what kind of flower it is. It's just like a very light, not heady at all floral. It's a very fresh, sweet scent. Liked that a lot. Then we used up a travel sized into the night body wash. And I don't know if it has the notes on here. Either way, this reminds me of like Chanel Mademoiselle, no, Chanel Chance. It reminds me of Chanel Chance. I feel like there's like maybe some black pepper in here. Um, it's very perfumey, like very traditionally classically perfumey. Um, and I would say it's more of an evening scent, although I don't know. It's just very like ladylike, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I do like this one a lot. I have more of this and I will use it probably in like the cooler months as we are in winter here. Um, this one does feel like a cool weather scent to me. 
and it reminds me of like I don't know if you can still do this but years ago I used to buy perfume and then sometimes you'd get like a gift set and it would have like body wash of the perfume as well so if you bought like a Chanel perfume it would come with like a, a body wash or something with it this reminds me of that like for Bath and Body Works to come out with this fragrance at this price point like this smells whoo I got it on my mouth this smells expensive like I like it a lot I do have to be in the mood for it it could be a headachey scent if you're headache prone so be careful with it that way but into the night I would recommend if you like perfumey like traditionally classically perfumey scents um, there's Into the Night. Then I did a bag of, this one got kind of like destroyed with wax spills, so that's just wax, FYI. Um, Equate cotton balls. So these are the Super Jumbo cotton balls. They come in a pack of 100 for like $3. I go through a bag of these like a month. They're great. I also finished a bag of these Scentsy cotton cleanups. These are nice because they rather than dealing with like if I'm changing all of my wax in the open layout it takes like eight cotton balls to do that because I've got so many warmers and I use a lot of wax a cotton cleanup will do all of the warmers and then I only have to deal with one item rather than eight messy cotton balls so these are nice to have on hand as well these are just kind of hard to get your hands on because they're always sold out so if you're interested in the cotton cleanups I would put them into your Scentsy Club and they are nice to have. Then on to wax. Now for full in-depth reviews of all these scents, you can check out my like previous What I've Been Warming Wednesdays, because um, those are the videos where I'll describe in detail where I warmed these, how they performed, the like detailed scent descriptions and all of that. Um, so here I'll just kind of go through what they were, whether I'd repurchase them, whether I liked it or not. So Winterberry Apple Tea, I've already repurchased. I love this one. It is like a, it is like a, you do get honey out of it and like an herbal fruit tea with some like dried berries maybe. It's really nice. Very wintry. Um, nice for pretty much anywhere in the house. Um, not overly long lasting but reasonably strong at the time and nice for any room in the house I think. Cookies for Santa. This one's from the Scents of the Season collection. It's like a sugar cookie scent with like brown sugar instead of white sugar. I get a lot of butteriness from it. And this one, on cold, I didn't think would be that strong, but it really was, and it was quite long lasting as well. So longevity wise, this one was good. Um, I didn't like love, love, love it. It was fine. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to get more, but I enjoyed it. Hundred Acre Wood will repurchase. This is one of our go-tos for our daughter's room. Um, it's kind of like a sweet cotton laundry with a little bit of like, I think there's jasmine in here and that's what's lending that kind of powdery floral quality. It's really nice. It's very cozy, perfect for a kid's room. Then we did three thumbs up. This one is a limited time offer scent, so if you're interested in this, get it soon. And this one smells to me kind of like, I've heard people say pretzels and I can, I can get that. Um, to me, I get like French bread with like the crust on it and like just French bread with like some spices, like allspice, cinnamon, so ginger, there might be ginger. I get like a whole bunch of pumpkin pie spices, not pumpkin pie, just the spices for pumpkin pie and like a loaf of French bread. That's what it smells like to me, but I could also understand pretzels. It's a very savory scent without being sweet. So if you like pumpkin pie spice, but you don't love the sweetness that it tends to have in fragrances, um, try, try this one. Um, so three thumbs up. It's also a nice mixer. Then we did Spiced Apple Chestnut, also from the Scents of the Season. And this one is like a slightly nutty, just slightly spiced with a little bit of like woodsiness to it, apple scent, like cooked apple with just a bit of nuttiness and like tree bark is what I smell. 
it's sweet, it's a little bit earthy. I really enjoy this one. Not overly long lasting, but a reasonable performer, uh, about average. I enjoyed that one. Then we did Farm Stand Pumpkin. This was way earlier in the month. This one has like a hint of caramel to it. It's like pumpkin apple and I think a little bit of caramel. Um, it is nice. It's like a sweet, very like classic fall scent. This one kind of feels more like October, early November to me. Um, it is nice. It does have some, not spices, it's got some like savoriness to it. That reminds me of like spices or herbs that I would use in cooking. So there's farm stand pumpkin. Then there's dark and devious. I really enjoyed this one. This one has like star anise, black pepper, like absinthe, and I want to say something else. It's got a bunch of stuff in it, but it's nice. What it doesn't say is in here is dark berries, but I swear there has to be like either a dark plum or a black raspberry or some kind of deep berry or deep fruit base, because it is a sweet, like kind of deep sweet scent with those like savory herbs and spices. So dark and devious. Then there is Fireside Chats. This one is also from the Sense of the Season collection. And this one is just <laughs> very interesting. It, I've said it before, it smells like somebody else's house. It smells like the house of somebody, like I've smelled people's houses that smell like this and it's a nice like natural house scent. It just doesn't smell like my house. It smells like a wood stove with a pile of wood and like a pantry full of like dried fruits and nuts and all kinds of like nice things. It's very cozy, very homey and I like it a lot. It also has like a slight undertone on cold at least and just briefly when you warm it but it goes away quickly of like bacon essence, <laughs> like I don't know what you'd call it, like hickory smoke or pretend bacon. It's got that just a little bit for a brief period of time. I think it's just the smoky notes. I think they're trying to like put like a smoky kind of note to it and it's reading to my nose as bacon briefly. That goes away though. So it is overall a quite nice scent. I really enjoyed it mixed with spiced apple chestnut. So there's that. Tinselberry. Tinselberry is one of my favorites that was kind of a sleeper favorite. I didn't try it till recently because I wasn't sure about it, but I really enjoyed this on warm. So this is like cranberry, strawberry, and cinnamon sugar. Really nice. I think this would be nice for most rooms in your home. Reasonable performer, about average. Um, I would recommend that one if you like strawberry with just, and you're okay with just a little tiny bit of spice. Then we did Caramel Apple Craze. This one is like caramel and apple. It's like a juicy fresh apple with caramel. Good performer, strong, relatively long lasting. I enjoy this one. Very October-y to me. Then we did Cedar Cider. This one is, it's like apple cider with like some cinnamon and spices, but it does have some like cedar wood to ground it. It's really nice. This one is a perfect like background scent for your home. This smells like what your house probably would just smell like. I just, I love this one. It's like a little bit sophisticated, a little bit elegant, but it's also very, very homey. Um, we really enjoyed this one. So that's Cedar Cider. Then we have Salted Caramel Toffee. And this one is I want to say it's got like toffee, butterscotch, and caramel, I think. I'll put the notes below on this particular one because I can't remember what the notes are, but it's a caramel scent. This one's nice for mixing as well. It's good with your other bakery scents. If you want to add it to a fruity scent to make it more gourmand, you can do that. Um, I like this one a lot. It is strong out the gate, but it does die down a little bit quicker than some other scents. So salted caramel coffee. Halloween Town. I forgot I warmed this this month. This must have been the very beginning of November. Yeah, this one's nice. 
It kind of reminds me of Fairy Tale Pumpkin, the October, was it October scent of the month? It is like a, it's got like a dark berry type note to it with like a little hint of, like a hint of bakery. And I don't want to say spice because I don't know that it's spice, but like maybe pumpkin or something. This one is really nice as well. I like this one a lot. I don't know if it's club worthy for me, but it is really enjoyable, especially for Halloween time. Then we did apple butter frosting. This one is a nice staple to try. So this one is like cooked apple, like from apple pie, like apple pie filling with like buttercream frosting. It's really nice, just a hint of spice, not a whole lot at all. It's mostly like a cooked apple, very cozy, very homey scent. Um, I like this one a lot. And I think most people would, I think that's a pretty safe bet if you're looking for gifts or something. Um, pumpkin roll, again. This one is like a cinnamon bun with pumpkin. And it might have like a drizzle of frosting, like icing sugar frosting, but it does not have cream cheese frosting. So this one I actually really enjoyed mixed with sweet, what was it? Pumpkin cinnamon swirl is what I like mixed with pumpkin roll. That was a beautiful mix. This one is really nice on its own. It's less gooey smelling than pumpkin cinnamon swirl and it's more of a, a dry spiced sweet pumpkin roll. It's really, really nice. We love this one. Then we have Bayberry and Current. This is also from Sense of the Season, a very strong performer, very long lasting, like extremely long lasting, days and days and days, and pretty strong. We'll take your house over. <laughs> yeah, very fresh, a little bit cologne -y. kind of reminds me of a hybrid between um, By the Sea and like Blue Sage and Tonka. cologne fresh, and kind of aquatic. Um, it's not my jam. I would not want to warm this again, but it is a fresh, clean scent and a very good performer. And that is everything that I went through this month. So I got through quite a few things and quite a few bars of wax. Um, so yeah, that is what I've gone through and I am looking forward to now sitting down to do my December melting basket and uh, figure out what I'm gonna melt through the month of December. So let me know what you went through this month and uh, what was your favorites? What were your not favorites? And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.